that feels like it's taking place in slow motion. The discus feels like it weighs not four and a half pounds, but maybe half an ounce or something. You can't even feel it, it's so light because the timing and the technique is so perfect, it's effortless. Mac's training partner is West Germany's Wolfgang Schmidt. About the discus, the two athletes are of one mind. If you watch it, you think uh, the discus throw, he throws the discus with the arm, but uh, it is not right. The most comes from the legs. Wolfgang Schmidt made international sports headlines when, competing for East Germany, he edged out American John Powell at the 76 Olympics for the silver medal. That same year, Mac Wilkins won the gold. Already, an unlikely friendship had begun between Wilkins and Schmidt. Two World Cup titles and a European championship came later, but at the peak of his career, everything changed. Because of his friendship with the West, East Germany pulled him from the team. Basically, they threw him in prison and ended his career at the, at the prime of his career. He was the world record holder at the age of 28. They did all this to him because he was friendly with athletes from the West, like myself and others. And uh, because he asked to go to the United States for competitions. The last six years for me, it was uh, many horrible things. Yeah, it was for me no life. For many years it was my life dream to train in California and to compete in California and uh, to train together with Mac here. I know Mac before from the papers. One morning my mother wake me up and said, Wolfgang, a new world record in discourse. Yeah, Mac Wilkins. Yeah. So, and, uh, wake up, you must go train. <laughs> yeah. Wolfgang is now not only training in California, he's the proud owner of a slightly used but very American car. I have a Mercury Cougar, 1974. He has a very big engine, 6.7 liter, and nearly 300 horsepower. German car number one, and then American cars. Um, but the American cars, this, this kind of cars, need much gas. Every second station, gas station is my <laughs> station. <laughs> Let's turn the page. One day Tulu went out for a run on the tracks and he saw a big black stallion in the meadow. And he said, I can run fast as that stallion. Right now my family's pretty small, there are only three of us. My wife Fran and my son Drew. Compared to a world record or a gold medal, uh, the, you can't make that comparison. He's the, the biggest prize of my life. I'm a very emotional person, and when I'm throwing well, that emotion is expressed by how I move in the circle, and the emotions involved with, with my family are, are far beyond anything in throwing, and, and throwing is a daily passion. In something like the discus throw, it's not hard on your body in one sense because when things are done correctly, the body doesn't have to do that much work. It's the, the technique and the rhythm and the timing. Um, the technique is something that comes with age and also the technique is something that allows you to continue to perform at a top level in spite of age. Why make a comeback in 88 instead of leaving the sport as an Olympic champion? I'll be an Olympic champion whenever I leave the sport. Why do it? Because I can. Because it's beautiful. I feel very good and uh, I'm very happy and it, it makes me very strong. I don't think so. That I am too old. I train to compete in the Olympics, for sure. I am an athlete. I like to throw the discus and... Uh, and I'm... Yeah, I'm not a politiker. Yes, I'm an athlete. Wolfgang hopes to throw for West Germany. Mac wants a shot at a third Olympic medal. But it's safe to say they're already winners.